agricultural and biosystems engineering, or AP for short. First, let's talk about agricultural engineers. Agricultural engineers use engineering principles to increase the efficiency of the usage of biological resources in agricultural practices. Now, agricultural and biosystems engineering takes it a step further by integrating biological sciences into the process. So, what does that exactly entail? Well, while agricultural engineering deals in mechanization, soil and water engineering, structures and environment, and post-harvest processing, agricultural and biosystems engineering deals with all that and much more, such as food, bio nanotechnology, biosensors, biomaterials, biochemicals, precision agriculture, and biofuels. Basically, ABE aims to improve and look beyond a specific challenge, such as a machine or an agricultural process, and consider a larger system and how any changes within its components could affect it as a whole. With an agricultural country like the Philippines, agricultural and biosystems engineers are essential to its prosperity. In the University of the Philippines Los Baños, the Institute of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering aims for the continuous upgrading of the Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering program, producing graduates with the highest all-around capabilities, spearheading the state-of-art RD&E, and being the nationwide model for other agricultural and biosystems engineering schools. It is divided into four divisions. For centuries, agriculture relies on power of man and animals from production, harvesting, and processing. Since the invention of William So, we have come a long way from manual labor to automated machinery. Here at AMD, we push the boundaries of innovation. Here in Agricultural and Machinery Division, they push the boundaries of innovation. Machines and tools for agricultural land development, crop harvesting, and post-harvest operation from all over the Philippines are tested here in UPLB Amtec. A problem of mechanization and industrialization is that the farmers are taken for granted. Machines replace manual labor since it is more efficient and inexpensive. There are still many opportunities in Agricultural and Machinery Division. Being a researcher and designer for agricultural machine, maintenance of different operation, and so much more. Here in Agricultural Machinery Division, there are many facilities that the university can offer. Some of these are Agricultural Machinery Fabrication Shop, Woodworking Facility, Power and Machinery Laboratory, and many more. As technology continues to improve, Agricultural Machinery Division does not disappoint to provide expertise in the field of agricultural power and machinery for the national development. Agrometeorology and Farm Structures Division focuses on addressing socioeconomic management issues related to natural disasters. Its services play an important role, particularly under extreme weather events. AFSD is responsible for making animals feel comfortable during hot weather conditions, growing of crops when soil is not available, predicting plant and animal environment, creating better designs of agricultural building, knowing suitable areas for crop and livestock production, and many more. Faculties of AFSD harness crop yield potential from favorable weather as well as weather extremes. They also help in improving crop and animal production by developing controlled environment technologies. And more importantly, they minimize environmental impact of agricultural waste. Students who graduate in ABE and AFSD can apply as a researcher, agricultural structure designer, and manager of livestock production. The Land and Water Resources Division serve as center in identifying information gaps, compiling, analyzing, generating baseline information and identifying growth points in land and water resources development. LWRD is involved in solving problems on land and water resources. Drought, irrigation, water shortages are among the top priorities for land and water resource engineers and are engaged in both policy making and design of land and water resources, conservation, development, and utilization. The division makes use of specialized facilities used in making sure that the students not only know the mechanics but also have hands-on experience in manipulating water and land resources. This will ensure that they work and become effective environmental specialists as a forefront in creating and maximizing the country's use of its land and water. A crop's purpose doesn't end the moment it leaves the field. They still need to come to us, the consumers. The crops 
still need to be processed post-harvest for the sake of security and marketability of various markets. These post-harvest technologies are the focus of the Agricultural and Bioprocessing Division or Agrod. We make sure that crops we use from building our houses to the food that keep us going are brought to the market safe and in the best quality. The division teaches its students with facilities like the rheological properties, laboratory, and refrigeration and air conditioning laboratory, which truly help one's education and researches in the fields such as food engineering, crop processing, and post-harvest engineering, to name a few all under the tutelage of some of the most accomplished educators like Dean Arnold R. Alepano and Professor Emeritus Dr. Ernesto P. Luzada. In conclusion, these four divisions work together to create leaps of progress in the systems we get and grow our produce, from field to market. The ABE course under the IABE ensures that only the best will come for its students and the future of our nation. We are Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Engineering for life.